Hello darlings, for today's video, I'll be creating a colorful look just in time for spring. As always, we're starting off with brows, and since I'm using all drugstore products for this look, I'm filling in my brows with the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Soft Brown. Next, I'm cleaning up the top edge of my brows with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in shade C1. I'm almost out of this concealer, so I'm using the little bit that's left for this step lately. For the lower edge of the brow, I'm using the P. Louise Base in shade 0.5. This really helps to define the brow shape. I'm also tapping the P. Louise Base onto my eyelid in preparation for eyeshadow. For this look, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Eyeshadow. First, I'm dipping into the Sugar Trip Squad palette, which is a limited edition palette, and picking up this matte blue shade. I'm applying this onto the inner half of my crease. Now I'm switching to the Off Tropic palette and applying this matte purple shade to the outer half of my crease, as well as my outer V. I'm meeting it with the blue shade in the middle of the crease, and to blend the two, I'm going back and forth, sweeping them on top of each other. Next, I'm picking up this peach shade and applying it along the outer edge of the purple in order to blend that purple out. I'm not applying anything above the blue, so that will be the only shade towards the front of the crease. Next, I'm taking the yellow and using that to blend out the peach, so now we have a gradient going from the purple to the peach and finally to the yellow. Now I'm cutting the crease into a half cut crease. To do this, I'm using the P. Louise base as always, but I'm trying out a new brush. This is the Profusion ES7 brush and I thought it might work well to cut out the crease. However, after testing it out, I found that it doesn't work as well as my Ride or Die JH42 brush by Morphe. Once I've cut the crease, I'm taking some makeup remover on a Q-tip and removing the base we laid down because it mixed with the blue. Then, I'm adding more P. Louise base with the JH42 brush so that it appears more true to color. To create a circular shape with this half cut crease, I'm tapering the purple shade in the outer V down onto my lash line. Then I'm going back to the Sugar Trip Squad palette and picking up this shimmery light green shade and packing that onto the space we cut out. I'm also tapping on some gold glitter from the Pop Beauty Twinkle Texture palette which I'm adhering to that area with the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Primer. Moving on to face makeup, I'm priming with the Maybelline Hydrate Master Primer and then I'm applying my products in a slightly different order than normal to achieve more of a skin-like dewy base. First, I'm contouring with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Warm Caramel and blending it out with the Morphe JH03 brush. It's going to look a little dark and messy at first, but once I complete the next steps, it will look better. Every time I divide all the fractions 
expressions of my mind. Now I'm highlighting with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Pale and also using it to carve out my cheek contour. After that's blended, I'm applying the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in shade 201 on top. This is going to give me the coverage I want and mute the concealers that I just applied. Next, I'm setting my under eyes with the Translucent Powder in the Setting 101 palette by Pop Beauty using a damp Morphe sponge. Since I'm already basically contoured, I'm just sweeping a very little amount of the blush shade from the Matte Contour 101 palette by Pop Beauty onto the hollows of my cheeks, the top of my forehead, and my jawline, and I'm also using the highlighter from that palette to add some glow to the skin. For blush, I'm using the NYX Paradise Fluff Ombre Highlighter, which is a part of the Sugar Trip collection. Now to give a luminous glow to the skin and get rid of the powdery look, I'm spraying on some of the Pixie Glow Mist. Now I'm going back to the eyes and adding the peach shade from the NYX Off Tropic palette to the lower lash line. Then it's time for lashes. I'm curling my lashes with the Ardell Lash Curler, applying the Ardell Precision Mascara, which is dual ended, and popping on the new Ardell Extension FX lashes in the style D curl. Next, I'm tight lining with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in black and adding the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Electric Daisy to my waterline. Then, I'm switching over to the other side of the dual-ended mascara and applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Finally, for lips, I'm applying the Pop Beauty Permanent Pout Matte Lip Paint in Butter Babe and topping that off with the Profusion Sparkling Lip Topper in the shade Yas. And that completes this spring look. Let me know in the comments below if you have any plans for spring break, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!